Jr. We're spotlighting the stories of African Americans from East Tennessee. We begin with a hometown girl, born and raised in Kingston. She grew up to be a veteran women's basketball player, and in the midst of integration, Carolyn Bushrati built a star-studded career in women's sports. I have to give my grandmother a lot of credit, too, because she was such an influence on my life. She was a motivator. She was a, a disciplinarian. She was she was my everything. Determination and inspiration would end in a storied career for Carolyn Bush Roddy. But she always told us, you can do or and be anything that you want to be. Just don't be afraid of failure. Roddy is a 2019 Women's Basketball Hall of Fame inductee. Her career started at Roan County High School. I was the first black to ever play at Roan County High School. It was integration. She recalls being shunned from entering a restaurant with her team because of her color. My coach, Freddie Paul Wilson, I love him to death. He said, if she can't go in, the rest of the team's not going in. And we started to get back on the bus. Her skills would take her to Hiwassee Junior College in 72, where she would dominate. While at Hiwassee, she was awarded the Tiger Red Award, Best Defensive Player, Best Offensive Player, and MVP of the National Junior College Tournament. And she was a National Junior College Athletic Association All-American, not once, but twice. On top of her collegiate success, she was an Olympic team finalist, as well as a gold medalist in the 1975 Pan American Games. I played with Pat. I played against Pat. My first encounter with Pat was at uh, the East and West All-Star Game at Stokely. Yeah, that's the one. Legendary Lady Vols coach Pat Summit. At first we weren't because she didn't like me and I didn't like her. But eventually they formed a friendship. We played on the 1975 Pan American team together, the international team together. I went to her basketball camp. She allowed me to be a coach at her summer camp for 28 years. Roddy went on to play for the Dallas Diamonds in the Women's Professional Basketball League. Everything in my life has been in God's plan. After retirement in 1982, Roddy went on to coach at several schools and has been an advocate for female athletes. Now, last year, she was one of seven women celebrated in downtown Knoxville as their names now forever hold a place in the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Roddy telling us how important that moment was to her. This has been the most remarkable experience I've had in a while. Uh, the first remarkable experience was my grandmother. Second was meeting my husband. The third was having my children. And basketball has just been my life. Her service to others continues to this day. Bushrati can currently be found working as a case manager for individuals with special needs. 